Dang it. Well, it is rough as heck. It's not really that rough. It's the fact that we have a ton of waves right now. You can see these waves coming. And coming and coming and coming out here today with Carl. Carl's over there in the dark. Welcome back to Texas Outwater Fishing. We are wade fishing the surf. The surf got a little cleaner, a little cleaner on the surf side end. Galveston was a little dirty, so we came to surf side. Grab some, uh, grab some live shrimp under a voodoo cork. And uh, wish us luck. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Like the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out a lot. We got a, uh, yeah. Going to be doing a lot of jumping. A lot of cardio today, Carl. A lot of cardio today, buddy. Legs are gonna be so, you know, this is supposed to just be a real easy peasy walk in and out kind of morning. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, we're kind of getting beat up a little bit surfside, but it's all good. You know, no better way to start the day. Sun's coming up, that court just went down. Nope, that's a fish. That's a fish, that's a fish. Hopefully, oh, he let go right there. Dang it, what was that? He let go right there, and that's weird. That really never happens. Hardly ever happens, especially with live shrimp. You know, they tend to really hang on. But, um, yeah. So, I don't know. Let's see what's up. Keep casting, keep casting. Keep jumping, keep jumping. There's a fish. This is holding down. A little bit of a head shake. Might be a trout. Hopefully not a, not a hard head or anything not desirable. And uh, yeah, it's a little uh, little speck, little speckler. I'm gonna try to get him off real fast. Don't want to hurt him. All right, try this again. Woo! These waves are something else. I'm telling you, they are butt kicking today. Good water movement though. Nice sunrise and bite. Hopefully, hopefully he's gonna hold on. Just for, just for us a little bit, for us to get a couple, a couple nice trout. Uh, I see some mullet right up ahead. Yeah, that was another hit. I see some mullet right up ahead. Looks like a nice school of mullet. I have like uh, about a three, three, uh, three foot leader line. A little bit of a split shot right there. Kind of hold the shrimp down just a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if we can get another bite. Fish right about there, right on the edge of the where the mullet is. So we're fish on sandbars and sandbars. I'm just casting off this sandbar into like the next dip. Pretty much the only structure that is offered out here along the surf. Little pop. See if somebody hears that pop, hears that rattle. Come investigate. And uh, <clears throat> now is that shrimp. There he goes it's down again. Oh, somebody small. Somebody small picking at it. There we go. That's a better. That's a better one. <clears throat> well, that's a better one. That's a decent sized one, I think. I spec. There we go. Nice spec. Got me. I noticed I didn't have them lipped right. Ugh. The wave got me. I noticed I didn't have them lipped right. Dig it! Whoa, that's the first keeper. We returned out and went back to the fish gods. Yeah, we're just doing catch and release on our first slot we catch this morning. Not really. 
Can't believe that just happened, but uh, like I said, man, these waves are unforgettable, uh, unforgivable, and uh, that one caught me good. Uh, you got one, Carl? That's a nice slot. That's a big fish trout. Oh my god, that's a huge fish trout. Dang. Yeah, that's a nice one. Alright. Let me get, get this. And these waves are making everything like very difficult. And uh, no mic on. Of course, you gotta make this camera waterproof. You gotta take the mic off and all the housing unit that the mic goes on. And uh, and have a lot of splashing on the lens today and that i hate that i hate the audio issues i hate issues with the hat being in the way or water being on the lens but we're just gonna have to deal with you guys because uh these waves aren't going anywhere and there's no other way to do it when you're in the elements you just uh you just have to deal with it got the cork got the shrimp back on cork back out in the water can't believe that uh that good one got off um, I saw it like the lipper wasn't on his lip. It was just right below his lip I had pinched his lip, but it wasn't quite on there And I was just gonna try to hang on to it and as soon as that wave hit me He flipped and and switched at the same time and uh, he just came off the lipper so but it's all good All right, let's go Dang it There we go. Oh, that's a good one Woo fish on, fish on. That's a good one. Ugh. That's a good one. I say that, I said that last time too, and it wasn't. Oh, he gave up fast. He gave up fast. Yeah, he gave up fast. He might make it. Smell them, you smell them? Yeah. Smell them trout, buddy boy. Woo! Let's go! Dang it! Bitch ass! <laughs> All right, I had to come back to the car to regroup. Uh, I had to get my other pliers. You know, so far this morning I lost my sunglasses, my lippers, my pliers, my dignity, my pride. <laughs> and get this mess untangled. Look at this. This is a mess. But man, you know what? That's why I say when when you know that water cleans up that first day, that 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 cleaner water comes in, and it's not clean in Galveston, or at least it wasn't yesterday. Uh, I did see Surfside looked a little clean so that's why that's why we came over here to surfside but you got to get out there as soon as it cleans up you got to run out there because a lot of times those fish will chase the the bait fish the predator fish will chase the bait fish all the way into like the shallow surf kind of where where we're fishing at where we're weight fishing at and uh yeah they'll just be on fire and this morning hasn't disappointed at all
All right, well, that is going to do it today. You know what? Had a quick session with Carl, subscriber, Patreon, Thanks friend. for inviting me. <laughs> yeah, threw a quick invite to, to Carl kind of late yesterday. Uh, I was kind of up in the air what we we're going to do so uh, or what I was going to do. But um, you know what? When that clean water comes in, you got to, got to hit to the beach. you got to hit to the surf. Whether you're fishing off the rock groins or the jetty or the piers, you got to go get it. And, uh, you know, today the bite was on fire. It was almost cast for cast, uh, speck for speck. And then just like that, it turns off. And, and that's what happens. They, they push a little further out, and uh, that's a wrap. But we went through our bait, went through a couple quarts of shrimp. And, uh, yeah, I think we each got our limit. Carl broke off a few times. I think Carl got into some Spanish mackerel and broke off a couple times. But, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to yet already. Like the video. Leave a comment. All that stuff really helps the channel out a lot. Until next time, I hope you catch me hooking up. Thanks.